What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus and I am back. I wanted to come on here and talk about um, my weekend. For those of you all who don't know, if you don't follow me on Facebook, Saturday we had the funeral service for my Nana uh, who passed away on the 12th. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give y'all like an update, kind of the rundown of what happened, kind of like the same thing I did when I talked about my grandmother's memorial. Now, before I get into that, I would like to say thank you for those of you all who sent your thoughts, condolences, well wishes, prayers, all of that. I want to say I thank you all so, so, so much. Um, grief is hard, hard enough to deal with as it is. But when you are hit with grief again, while you're still dealing with the first grief, it can be a lot. Um, so thank you all for your thoughts and your prayers. So we ended up having my Nana's funeral at the same at the same funeral home that we did my grandmother's uh, for memorial service. Now, her funeral service, there was a more... Uh, steps that went into it because of the fact that she had an actual funeral whereas with my grandma um, she requested to be cremated um, and so you know there was no viewing no viewing or no burial or anything like that um, overall it was a very 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 nice service um, I want to give a shout out to the funeral home because they made her look very, she looked very, very beautiful. Hair, um, the dress she had on, makeup, everything. Um, they really did an amazing job because, you know, sometimes, you know, we've seen and heard stories of, you know, funeral homes not making people look the way they're supposed to look. Now, when... Also, along with my grand, I think I talked about this in the video as well, but along with my grandmother passing away in January, um, the former church that I went to, the church, the, the mother of the church had also passed away um, like two weeks after my grandma passed away. And I wasn't able to go because I am still was still on the probation period at my job. So I couldn't be, you know, calling out and stuff like that because for whatever reason, they had her funeral during the week. Um But anyway, um, one of the one of the ladies that went to the funeral, she took some pictures of her, and I was just sitting there like, y'all, whoever it was that idea it was to have her looking the way she was looking, I was just like, now y'all know y'all ought to be ashamed for that because she did not look like herself at all. But anyway, that ain't got nothing to do with it. So, like I said, she looked very, very, very beautiful. Um, so we had a viewing, um, and then we had the funeral, and then we had the burial. Now, the only downside was the fact that, especially as it pertains to the burial, was the fact that it was raining out. It rained all day that day, and it was cold also. Um... I would also like to say that I'm glad that everything went smoothly because um, my dad's side of the family can be kind of crazy. And so I'm glad that nobody, you know, like showed out or anything like that. Well, I'm not I'm not going to talk about that, but some of my family, if y'all listen to this, y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I ain't going to get it all. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it was a very, very beautiful service. I really want to talk about this because this is something that really bothered me. Is how you have the nerve and the audacity to try to be entitled at somebody's funeral. So, there was a part during my Nana's funeral service. And they also did the same thing at my grandma's memorial service. Where there was a certain part of, of the, in the program or in the service where they, where we, they had like a slideshow running with different pictures of my Nana and it, it was playing along to, they had, um, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday by boys to men that was playing in the background. Now, from what I understand, um, I think that 
my family sent the pictures to the funeral home and then I guess they picked and chose which pictures they were going to use in the slideshow. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but what really bothered me was the fact that one of the great nieces, she was like in her feelings about the fact that she wasn't in any of the pictures. Um, you know, we were just sitting there watching the slideshow. And this was before. And, th and one thing I didn't understand is that if you had a, a portion of the service where you were going to do the slideshow for everybody to see, then why were y'all playing the slideshow bef before the service? But anyway, so, you know, we was all sitting there waiting for the service to start. And one of the cousins was like, I'm not, I'm not in any other pictures. And her mom was like, uh, really? And her mom was like, you know, I don't, I sent in, the, I sent the pictures. I don't know what happened, you know, yada, yada. And she ended up having like a breakdown. And I'm just like, there's plenty of people, family members in here that I'm pretty sure submitted pictures and the pictures didn't make it in the slideshow. I'm just like, girl, like, how you got the nerve to be in your feelings or feeling some sense of entitlement? Like you just have, like you, you just had to be in the slideshow. Cause I'm like when, when my grandma had her memorial service, I think all of the pictures that they that, that, that they sent that they put in the slideshow, I think it was all pictures of her by herself. I think there may have been one picture with her and her siblings, but like I think they were all just her by herself. Like there wasn't a picture with her and my mom or her and her her and my aunt. Um, but none of us was sitting in there like I can't believe like you know. Where's my picture at? Because if I'm not mistaken, I think I submitted a picture. It's a picture that I have of her, of me and her when I graduated college. I think I might have submitted that picture, but I don't remember. But I, but like, but like I said, none of us was sitting in there like, why, where's my picture at? Why am I not in none of the pictures? It was just like, this is about grandma. This ain't about us. So, but yeah, after that, she ended up having like a breakdown crying. I was just sitting there like, girl, like you're not in the pictures like it's fine like you still have whatever the picture was that was submitted you still have you can take the picture and print it off and hang it up at your house if it's that if it was that serious for you and her to have a like so that was one thing that ticked me off the second thing that ticked me off one of the pictures um so my brother when he was in college they had like a big thing because he plays football so they had like a big thing at one of the football games for all of the people on the team who were seniors where like all the family came and we would walk the field with them or whatever you know there was a lot of pictures that were taken and one of the pictures that was taken was a picture of my brother my nana and my grandma all in the same picture and so when the picture came across the slideshow now i didn't know that this was said my mom brought it up after the after the funeral but she was like that somebody asked was asking who the who the other woman was in the picture and one of one of the cousins um was like that's her mom talking about or he was like that's um such and such mom y'all don't even don't know my mama name but they was like that's her mom and then my mom said that the person asked well who funeral is it and i was just sitting there like first of all what that got to do with anything because if that was the case None of the other pictures that had y'all in there should have been posted. It should have just been... Now, in retrospect, they probably should have just found a bunch of pictures of her by herself. Maybe her with her mom. Well, there was a picture of her and her mom. And there was a picture of her and one of her sisters. Um, and then I think it was another picture of her and her siblings when they were younger. But I'm like, maybe in retrospect, they probably should just put a bunch of pictures of just her by herself. But yeah, they was like, well, who funeral is? And I was like, well, what they got to do with anything? She was she was in the picture. It ain't like it was a picture of just my grandma and my brother by herself. And, you know, sometimes, you know, God, he'll keep you from certain things. He won't allow you to hear certain things or see certain things. Because I probably would have addressed that person and said something about that. Because it's like, I, I don't take kindly to disrespecting people in my family. And especially somebody that's dead. Like, we're not, we not playing them games. But, but to be honest, and I could be wrong because like I said, I didn't hear, I don't know exactly who said it and I don't know, and I didn't, and I didn't hear them say it, but 
it was to me it was given like what she's it was given well she's not family so why is she in the slideshow and 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 you know with that being said she wasn't blood related to my nana but she was more family than a lot of y'all was she was more concerned about her well-being than the people that was blood related to her half of them people my nana been living that moved down here from jersey three years ago half of them and and a lot of them people a lot of her family that lived down here never came to see her unless they unless they wanted something or unless it was you know if we was if we was having a cookout or if something was going on they would show up but like none of them would just come to see her just would come see her just because except for one, one of the cousins you know she would come see her you know every now and then or she would call on the phone a couple of times she came and took her you know when she took a trip to the beach she took nana with her and stuff like that but like y'all was living down here in the same state with her and none of y'all bothered coming to see her unless she wanted something or unless it was something going on so at this point who cares about whether the person is blood related because the blood relation obviously that didn't matter to y'all but anyway but overall like i said it was a very very nice nice service um it was something else i was going to address but i'm gonna leave that alone but anyway that's all i want to really come on here and say again i want to say thank you for your thoughts and your prayers and your well wishes um all of that continue to keep my family in prayer especially my dad um thank you all for tuning in be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will talk to y'all later i'm sorry y'all i had to come back now i don't know i want to talk about this repass now i don't know um the conversation that was had with my dad and the rest of the family what's up babe but anyway um the conversation that was had between my dad and the rest of the family but that was one of the most ghetto repasses I've ever been. Well, I ain't been to a whole bunch of funerals, but that was a ghetto repass. So first of all, I, they 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 cooked. They went and bought food and cooked it for the repast, which is fine. But if you're gonna do that, you need to make sure that you buy enough food, especially when you know that the people in your family can eat, because. You know, a lot of the people on my dad's side of the family, you got more heavy set people than you got slim people. And even a lot of the slim people got big appetites. Because one of my older brothers, you know, he's not much bigger than me, but he can eat like somebody that's 400 pounds. So I'm just like, if you was going to, you know, because I mean, of course, that would have, that was cheaper, but I'm like, if you was going to do that, you should have at least made sure that you had enough food to go around. Now, honestly, it was enough people in the family where they could have all contributed what ten five ten dollars and they could have paid and had the food catered but whatever now mind you um and here's the thing that was really ghetto to me They must didn't have nobody coordinating the repass because I know when my when we had the repass for my grandma my uncle made everybody stand outside until the family showed up the children and the grandchildren everyone we got there because we went back to my grandma's house and some people changed clothes or whatever but when we got there my uncle had everybody standing outside he didn't let nobody go in there until we got there but i think there were some people sitting down like i think some of the older people were already sitting in there but nobody ate until we got there and when we got there we was the first ones to eat tell me why by the time we got there because I rode with my dad and my mom and my nephew, I think, and my you know my sister and all of them. They went ahead of us. But tell me why by the time we got there, most of the food was already gone. When we got there, people sitting around eating, drinking, conversating, doing whatever. I'm like, nope, nobody should have had a plate in their hand until my dad got there. He was the only child. So how y'all get there? We get there and the food is gone. Or, or somebody should have at least thought to put a plate up for him so he would have had something to eat when we got there. Like that, that that was that was ghetto to me.
But anyway, that's that's what I that's really, that's the only thing I want to come back up here and talk about because I'm just like, where they do that at? That's just like if you have a birthday party for somebody and the person whose birthday it is show up and everybody's sitting in there eating already, and the person whose birthday it is ain't ain't got their plate yet. I was just like, where's where where's the the, the coordination at? Because th- th- this ain't it right here. But anyway. So that's so now I'm done for real, y'all. Y'all leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll talk to y'all later.